Hi friends, I have a really cool book to read you today. It is called Watch Me Grow Frog. And a lot of people worked on this book. Some gathered up information so that we can learn about frogs and then others took these really cool photographs so that we could enjoy as we read together. Watch Me Grow Frog. Let's find out how a frog comes to be a frog. Ooh, hop off with me and watch me grow. Oh, look at that, a table of contents. This is a clue. I think this is a real life book. I'm a frog. I like to croak. I have slippery skin. I live in water and on land. I have long legs and I can leap very high. And see these little circles right here? And they're pointing to parts of the frog. Those are so that you can see up close what they look like. So this as the frog's skin. A frog's skin is soft and wet. And here are his big eyes. It helps the frogs find food. And right here, these flat circles against his face, those are his ears. Their ears are flat. And right here, webbed feet. They help the frogs to swim. Splish, splash. Frogs love water. Look for them in ponds, rivers, or squelchy marshes. Hey, here I am with some of my frog friends in our pond. Turn the page and find out how my life began. Let's find out. Before I was born, mom laid thousands of eggs in a pond and then dad fertilized them. To do this, he had to stay very close to mom while she laid all of her eggs. Here's dad holding on to mom while she lays her eggs. And you can see here that mom's belly is nice and plump and like swollen. There are lots and lots of eggs in her belly. And this group of eggs is called frog spawn. And let me give you some facts about spawn. The mother frog can lay as many as 4,000 eggs. That is a lot of eggs. Frog spawn have food inside them for the growing tadpole babies to eat. So that little black dot, that's the egg. Oh, and here, let me read to you this part. Calling all frogs. Croaking is the frog's version of talking. Croaking is how male frogs tell female frogs where they are. Croak. I'm over here. Hmm? Now I'm growing inside my egg. I already have my tail and gills. In a few days, I will be big enough to wriggle out. Here, this is the beginning of life. A frog's life begins as a tiny black egg. The jelly around the egg protects it from bumps. And here's some facts about the jelly. Frog spawn floats to the surface of the water and it's warmed by the sun. The jelly swells in the water to protect the egg. And then the tadpole will hatch out after about 10 days. So here is a tadpole at about nine days. You can see its tail, its tail right there, see? After nine days, a tadpole's almost ready to hatch. And after 10 days, I start to push through the sticky jelly. Here I come. I'm ready to hatch out. Once I'm out of my egg, I swim up to the surface of the pond where it's warm and there's plenty of food. Look, there's hundreds of tadpoles. They will hatch at the same time. That's a lot of brothers and sisters. After hatching, the tadpoles will rest for a few minutes before swimming off. Now it takes all day for this tadpole to work its way out of the egg. I want you to look here, look closely. Do you see those little feathery things on the sides of the tadpole's head? Those look like hands, but they're not. Those are actually its gills. Gills help the tadpole to breathe in the water. They take in the air that's in the water. Now see, here's a close-up picture the gills look like. Now fish have gills too. Fish gills are just little slits like on the sides of their heads. But then the tadpole's gills look feathery. And those gills help them to breathe. That's right. After four weeks my teeth begin to grow. Did you know that tadpoles had teeth? At last I can start eating insects. When a big tasty worm drifts down from the surface I share it with my brothers and sisters. Look at that juicy worm. Tadpoles use their tiny teeth to chew their food. But danger lurks. 
There's other creatures in the pond. They're also looking for food, like this big fish. Tadpoles have to move fast to get away from a hungry trout. These tadpoles are too quick for me. Whew, they got away, didn't they? But let me tell you some facts about tadpoles. By four weeks, the tadpole's gills are covered in skin and its lungs begin to grow. So those feathery, um, those feathery things on the sides, those gills, they they don't they're not there anymore. They're covered up by the frog's skin. And here's another fact: most tadpoles are eaten all oh, before they can even grow up. So mama can lay up to four thousand eggs, but not four thousand tadpoles will survive. Some of those tadpoles are sadly going to be eaten. Hmm. Hey, now I'm part tadpole and part frog. When I'm six weeks old, my arms and legs start to grow. My new legs help me to swim. I am part tadpole and part frog. I have become a froglet. So you can see in this picture that the back legs grow first. Look, no arms. A froglet's back legs are the first to grow and then its front legs grow. The froglet's body and head also start to grow much bigger. And let me tell you about its tail. The tail gets shorter as the legs begin to paddle. So it doesn't need this tail to help it swim anymore because its legs and webbed feet are going to help it to swim. Ooh, this bug will make a great snack. Froglets eat bugs like this, this little crunchy water boatman. I want you to look at the the tadpole's eyes, the froglet's eyes in this picture are very tiny. And look, as it grows, his eyes grow too. And then also look at its mouth. It's got a little teeny tiny little mouth. And here, the froglet's mouth has widened. He's got a bigger mouth, doesn't he? Here's some more facts about a froglet. It takes about 14 weeks for a froglet to turn into a frog. The froglet now has lungs and breathes by, and breathes by quickly swimming to the surface to gulp some air. So now he breathes like we do. We can't, we can't breathe underwater. We have to hold our breath. Our lungs help us to breathe. And now they have lungs too. So they can't breathe underwater. They've got to go up to the surface and take a new breath. Now I'm ready to leave the water. After three months, I breathe through my lungs and even my skin. I didn't know that. Now I'm ready to start living on land. Going, going, gone. When I'm 13 weeks old, my tail's almost gone. Just a tiny bit is left. And look at this little frog right here. I'm so small I can sit on your fingertip. But after three years, I'll be as big as your fist. Let me tell you some more facts about growing frogs. An adult frog is 10 times bigger than when it first came out of the water. And summer is the best time to spot new adult frogs. So if you want to see what a real frog looks like, you can go down to the pond in the summertime. You're likely to spot one there. Oh look, I leap from land to water. I need to keep my skin wet to stay healthy. So after eating on land, I leap back into the water for a swim. Ready, steady, go! Look out, here I come, splash! Look how long its legs are. Those long legs are good for hopping, aren't they? Let me tell you about leaping. If you could hop like a frog, you'd be able to cross a football field in just four jumps. And here's another fact. Frogs don't just hop for fun. They also hop to catch food and to escape from animals that want to eat them. Oh, thankfully they've got good hopping skills. They can get away fast. And look at this picture. Oh, that's a frog. Do you know what that long pink thing is? It's its tongue! That's a frog's tongue! A frog's tongue is attached to the front of its mouth, not the back, so it can reach farther for yummy bugs. Next time that you go into um, your bathroom, look in your mirror and stick out your tongue. And then stick it out. And notice that your tongue is connected in the back, but a frog's tongue is connected at the very front of its mouth. That's going to help it to reach and grab some of those bugs. Mm. Mm. Oh, here's the circle of life, the life cycle. The circle of life goes around and around. So first, a mama frog lays an egg. See inside that jelly sack, that little black egg? And then a little tadpole will form and get bigger and bigger 
and then it'll push through the egg and out will hatch a little, what's that called? Tadpole! And the tadpole has a long tail. Its body's gonna start growing and then its back legs and then its front legs. And notice it still has a long tail. Now it's called a, do you remember? Froglet, yeah, it's part tadpole and part frog. And then that tail is going to get shorter and shorter and its lungs are going to develop and then that frog can now hop onto the land, right? And then this frog will have her own eggs and then the process will start all over again. That's called the life cycle. Now you know how I turned into a slippery frog. Croak, croak. See you next spring. Did you like learning about frogs? Oh yes, I have a really, really big word just to teach you. It's called metamorphosis. Can you say it? Ready, say meta, more, phosis. Now put it all together. Metamorphosis. Yeah, metamorphosis. That is the process from which a little tadpole changes into a hopping frog. Yeah, you learned the big word today. Hey, do me this favor. Go grab some paper and crayons and join me back and I will show you how to draw the life cycle of a frog. Now hop to it. Get, get, get. Thanks. See you in a second. Hi there, I have my paper and I have my crayons and a pencil. Now, your parents can help you with this first part. You're gonna take your paper and fold it into quarters, into fourths, four sections. So, you're gonna fold it in half one way and then fold that in half again. And then make sure that you're really going over it and creasing it so that when you open up the paper, you can see that there are four sections. Okay, all right, now we're ready to draw our life cycle of a frog. So Mama Frog uh, goes in the pond and lays some eggs, that's right. The mother frog lays some eggs and the eggs, and I'm gonna show you the picture from the book, if you remember. So the black part is actually the egg and then this clear jelly-like substance is just around the egg to cushion it and to protect the egg. So we're gonna draw, um, we're gonna draw a few eggs. So let's draw some of the jelly sacks and then we'll draw about three or four. Now the mama frog, she's gonna lay many, many. She could even lay like up to 4,000 eggs. So those are the sacks and then we're gonna put our little black circles, just teeny tiny black circles inside the jelly sacks. Okay, those are the actual eggs. So that's the first stage. And then what will hatch out of those eggs? Do you remember what it's called? Yes, a tadpole. Now tadpoles have rather large heads. So I'm gonna kinda like draw kind of an oval shape. I'm not gonna close it up all the way though. And then I'm gonna draw this long tail. And it kinda looks like this. I'm just gonna draw another little line to connect that tail. See that? And um, it has some gills on it. And those are like feathery looking, aren't they? And you can actually go ahead and let me draw the eyeball and a little tiny mouth. And you can color those in. And you know what? I'm gonna use two colors. I'm gonna go first with my black. And then, let me draw the line a little bit darker so you can see it. I'm going to go back over it with some brown. Tadpoles are dark. Okay, and they swim. Now tadpoles do not have any legs yet. Isn't that right? All right, so there's a tadpole. Now, the tadpole will grow some legs. In fact, it's going to grow its back legs. Let me show you the picture from the book. It'll grow its back legs first and then its front legs, okay? And that stage of a frog's life is called a froglet. Okay, let me get my crayon out. Let's see, how are we gonna draw this? Um, I think I'll go ahead and draw that oval part of the frog's head, and I'm still going to attach that tail because now remember, the froglet still has a long tail. Okay, but it just so happens to be growing some legs. So let me make a leg here with some webbed feet, and then there's gonna be a leg on the other side. So I'm just gonna draw. There, and then should we go ahead and draw this froglet with its front legs too? Okay, we can do that. So we'll draw 
the front legs also, and then one on the other side, you can kind of see it. And then the froglet now will have a wide mouth and it actually has some teeth on the top, doesn't it? And then its eyes are getting bigger. Its eyes are getting bigger. All right, so there's the froglet. And I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna color that with a green crayon. And then I'm gonna go over it with a brown crayon. Not quite a frog yet, right? It's part tadpole and part frog. That's why they call it a froglet. A little froglet. Just a baby froglet. All right, let me take this brown and go over again. I like to blend the colors sometimes. It makes it look more realistic if you use like multiple colors. All right. And the other eye is on the other side, right? We're just like, kind of like looking at this little froglet from the side view, its profile. Okay, so there's the froglet. And then, what's the final stage? We have the egg and a tadpole and then a froglet and then the frog, that's right. So the legs have grown and the tail is going to kind of like disappear almost, huh? It kind of like grows into its tail. Here you can see a tiny little tail on that froglet and then the tail just disappears altogether, right? And then its legs are nice and long for jumping and it's got those webbed feet for swimming. So let's draw the frog. Let's see, how about if we draw them looking at us? So we'll draw two eyes on the top of his head. Let's draw a wide mouth. And then I'm going to make like a little, kind of like an oval around it. And then I'm gonna continue this line right here. That's part of his face, right? And then I'll draw his eyes and little nose holes. He's gotta breathe, right? And then, we'll go ahead and draw his legs. So I'm gonna draw the two front legs first. I'm gonna make it line down, and then I'll draw those webbed feet, and then I'll continue the line up, and then I need to draw another leg. So I'm gonna make a, a horizontal, or excuse me, vertical line down, and then webbed feet, and then vertical line up, those are his front feet, and he's gonna be sitting there. Maybe he's sitting on a log or on the lily pad. So I'm going to draw these other legs like they're sitting legs. So I'm gonna kind of like draw a round part. See, I did that? Almost kind of looks like I'm gonna draw a heart. I start here and I go up and then I come down and then I'll draw those webbed feet. Let's put the leg part like this. There, and then on the other side, same thing, almost like you're going to draw a heart. So I'm going to come up and slant down. See that? The other side of the heart. And then the web feet. Okay. And then here's the frog's belly. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. And you can color that in too. All right, I'm not gonna have time to color my frog, but you can color yours. So let's go over the four stages of a frog. So first, the mama lays some eggs. And then, out of those eggs hatch some little tadpoles. And then those tadpoles grow their back legs first, and then their front legs, and now we call it a froglet. And then that tail shortens, and he looks more and more and more like a frog. He's developed some lungs so he could breathe on the land. Now we've got our friend, the frog. Ribbit, ribbit. And to make this look like the life cycle of the frog, I'm gonna take a red crayon and draw some arrows to show you. Let's see. So like the eggs and then the tadpole. See, I draw a little arrow. And then from the tadpole to the froglet. And then from the froglet to the frog, and then if this is a mama frog, she'll lay her own eggs. And you see how that happens over and over and over again? That's called the life cycle. Life cycle. The life cycle of a frog. There you have it, friends. You just do the life cycle. Thanks for joining me.